that it's not unheard of for numbers to be able to take this. Now, can he do it in a reset? That, I would have to learn with all y'all. But, we gotta see it in action. We're about to see, we're finally about to see it happen. We're here in Grand Finals, John Numbers versus Zamba. We're starting things off to small battlefield. This has been a typical setting for these two playing, and just generally speaking, a very commonly played stage tonight. And I fear that it's going to give a ton of room for Rob to be able to control space, be it aggressively, from a distance with his projectiles. Like, you name it. This is just a phenomenal stage for Rob. Yeah. And I thought we were going to see one of the footstool, panic pan footstool out of shields from Zamba, but off to just throw the gyro right there. Yeah, like, he's got, he's got it nice like that, but the question is, is he going to break it out right now? Like, this is the first stocks of the first game of Grand Finals. Like, does he need to put his everything into it? Is that the kind of tournament this is? Uh, if he wants to go home early, maybe. I mean, he can keep playing like that. Excellent yeah. gyro control allows him to net first blood. Yeah. Just run up fair. Salma, oh, doing a great job of avoiding number sharking right there. That's where, like, Rob is, like, kind of at his weakest. He gets sharked by a lot of characters really easily. It's one of the main ways you should beat him. And just Zamba doing a great job of just dodging. Yeah, you know, Zamba plays very confidently when it comes to having to land. Not necessarily like committing to a button when doing so, but just in general being mindful of how oh. to turn to the stage from above. In a situation like that though, like you get guy. Like he tried to go for the arm rotor stock. He tried hovering around, seeing if he got a second opportunity. Numbers will let him have it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, it's just fair. Oh, he's stage. getting frisky with it, though. Back here does not catch, but it's still plenty of damage building up as Zamba tries to ramp up the momentum here. And Numbers answers in tow. Yeah, and every reversal situation has been, like, stopped out by Numbers. And it's just racking on right here. Oh, my gosh. The Nair not show poking right there. Lucky for Zamba right there. You know, I don't give Numbers enough credit for having, like, as good of an idea as he does about which ways the header ball is going to bounce and how it could be comboed accordingly. There are so many different ways for you to adjust to that thing. And he's aware of so almost all of them. Uh, if not all of them. Yeah, if not all. But, like, even seeing once, like, just the little bit of a whiff on getting a punish off of it. It's like a reminder that, yeah, he gets them so consistently, yeah. it's kind of hard to remember that... Like, that tool just sort of reacts very differently in a lot of ways. All right, going for guarantee percent right there. Zamba dealing 42%. This is getting really hard. Be reverse. Oh, son. Into the dome. Yeah, no, at that distance, that is tough to react to, especially at that size of charge. You got to hold that. And now Numbers gives us the, uh, the classic for today's tournament. It's... If you have a deficit to build that deficit back in maybe one or two combos. Yeah, no. you said it's, it's the name of the game. Yeah, there, there's your maybe, the, the one back air to add it back up. <laughs> All right, the sharking from Zama this time. Oh, yeah. Now, that's one of the main things that I'm worried about in numbers when it comes to this set and the fact that he has to opt for stall options while Zamba has all of his resources available to him. He is just primed for the kill when he's in the air, and Zamba knows it as he secures game one. That's a good player situation right there. Jump off stage bear, but you don't normally see like a drop zone like that from like Rob's. So um, numbers think he's like safe in the situation and just getting tracked. Oh no, that's, that's the trick right there, is tracking your opponent with Rob far easier when you don't commit any of your options. You wait for your opportunity to strike. He has the movement to be able to position himself appropriately. If he has his laser, he has his gyro, and he hasn't committed any jumps in that type of a position, then he's set to go. Yeah. Okay, I thought you got the second there. This man tried spiking him at zero multiple times. Yeah, you gotta try it. You gotta at least try it once. Because you know numbers would do the same thing to you anyways. Of course. Well, for blood out here. 
mean, that's, that's been the note for this entire tournament. It should be no surprise to see it in Grand Finals either. This Grand Finals has no friends. <laughs> no, ain't nobody Holy in this bracket friends with each other. Only enemies. <laughs> Like any of the matches that you've seen in the background of today's shots, seriously, <laughs> frowns on every face. <laughs> Nobody wants to lose. Sour pushes all around. We, we definitely had like six auras <laughs> and like eight, like four Steves. So that's a whole different issue. You know what you signed hey, up for no, if you're coming no. to a New York tournament. So definitely, there were definitely frowns. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Like, there is definitely an aspect of this tournament that is the endurance test of the multiple styles and matchups that you have to deal with. I mean, also mm -hmm. consider the two pioneers of said styles and said characters. Yeah, I know. Definitely the best for each representation for each of these characters. And that's a conversation that far exceeds our state borders. Like, Zamba very much in the conversation for one of the best drops globally. And while, yes, there may be fewer We Fit Trainer players on a higher most level, numbers, once again, very much in that conversation of the best on a global scale. Yeah, definitely has the best wins of them, from my knowledge. I mean, you have to consider how, like, dense the talent level is of this region, and even just the Northeast in general. Like, you just have opportunities to fight tooth and nail with some of the best players on a very regular basis. It is a luxury that not a lot of players get, but it is one that both of these players make very good use of. Certainly. And we're seeing the offstage interaction again. Okay, going high. Yeah. Oh, missing it, the two frame right there. It's a rare situation to be in, but it's one that Zamba is looking to try to make the most of. Yeah. Now he's high off the ledge. We don't see that often. Like the mash out. Okay, try to read the neutral air dodge to landing on him. I love when the Yoni levels just exceed measurable numbers. Because, <laughs> like, that's an option that you go for when you've clocked in, like, so many hours with someone that you lose count. Is it optimal? No. Does it make sense? Probably not, unless you know the habits and adaptations of someone over the course of a very, very long time. It's the yeah. homey read. But that's just a typical read. Zama takes game two, confident fashion. Two stocks were left on the board pretty handily. So Zama is one game away from being your Alpha 6 champion. I mean, he's been playing. Like, he, he knows this is his tournament. Like, it's just a matter of him getting the W. All right. See if we get an adaptation from numbers. Uh, it's a long road ahead if he's going to bring us any sense of adaptation. Just to stay alive, he'll need a reverse 3-0 on uh, Zamba. That's a tall order for any player. And then consider the whole other potential set of a reset grand finals. It's a lot for anyone. Oh, that way it is. But if nothing else, Numbers will put on a show. Numbers known for putting on a show. Definitely been one of the most entertaining sets so far, or like players to watch so far in the top eight. But guess what, Frank? The yes. show needs to come to an end. And Zamba wants this to end. Oh, of course. But listen, you know, you know what you were here for. Nubby's in grands. He's still going to take his time. He's going to find every opportunity he can to slow the match down so that he can get his resources together, maybe heal a little bit. See him trying to get tricksy with the gyro, and yeah. I love it when people use Rob's gyro against him. So, Numbers has a legit gyro video on YouTube. Does he really? Yeah. On that's like how so to, hype. On how to deal with Rob's gyro. First of all, that's so funny, but also that's so hype. Yeah, no. He yeah. would be the guy. If anyone would be that guy, it would be him. He has the tools. Watch this video, man. It's on YouTube. I believe it's probably on his Twitter somewhere. I mean, it's one but... of the core tenets of counterplay to Rob. It's like you see how much Zamba gets out of having the gyro in hand. Or even having it charged a little bit. Even if you aren't confident in using it yourself in your own combos, just denying it from Rob oh. is so important. Calling out that stall. Taking this out super early. It's two stocks to one right now. He's got something on the board, but he's got to make a count. 
No more fans. Put your hands in the air. You either start praying or you get those 07s in the chat loaded and yeah. ready, folks. All right, Zama is going off 75%. It's just non-stop pressure. If it's not the lasers, if it's not the gyro, it's Rob himself just rushing you down. And Numbers not even feeling safe at the ledge. We haven't seen a lot of that deep ledge play that you're seeing in a lot of other sets. We're not seeing a lot of the typical routine of building up the deep breathing and the sun salutation. It hasn't been typical affair for Numbers, but it has been for Zamba. A 3-0 victory as Luminosity's own Zamba wins Alpha 6. Yeah, no, definitely a great job from the kid. He got it done in confident fashion at that. Mm. We take a big sippy. All right. So. Well, Reggie. Yeah. We got our top four in. We got Another it. alpha in the books. Another one in the books, man. Until the next one where we bring people the neon and vaporwave that Long Island's come to love. And we were able to share with Brooklyn today. Oh, yeah, no. I'm so glad we got to share it with Brooklyn. It's a nice change of pace, but one that I feel is a very welcome one. Yeah. We got the winner of the tournament yeah. with us. Uh, I'm so pretty sure this is hooked up, yeah. So, All right. How do, how Start do asking feel? questions? Yeah. Yeah, you got to close it. Close there you it. go. That's how microphones work. Uh, yeah, you got to choose one or the other, buddy. <laughs> he, he does not know how this is work. This is what school has taught you? You yeah. just don't know a microphone? I mean, we didn't do microphone class. Oh, my bad. All my right. bad. Communications didn't work. <laughs> so, how do you feel about winning this tournament? I don't know. It's pretty lit, I guess. I and mean, I like money. Smash Con. I did pretty shit at Smash Factor, so it's like, okay. Okay. Yeah. A little a little bounce back. Yeah, I mean, I didn't Smash get to Con. fight the buzz, so it's like. Yeah, but you didn't look like in the best of shape. True. Yeah. So. Listen, some wrenches in the game plan for one tournament, it is what it yeah, is. You I move mean, on to the next one. I so. mean, this tournament can be a lot different. I got could have hit the actual zero to death button, and I would have lost. Yeah, that was game three? You versus that? That was um, a hot game three. Oh, man. I feel like we saw a lot of those. It was kind of a tough bracket to carve through, but. Yeah, I mean, fearsome opponents like Guy Guy, like Justin Byleth, like. Gene, my round one, pretty tough. Shout out to round one. Uh, John, always treat to fight. <laughs> <laughs> you look so thrilled. Yeah, yeah I know. I mean, I'm ecstatic. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, who who are you looking to face next week at SmashCon? At SmashCon, I hope I fight uh, Akala. You know. Is he going? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's that the, that's the big target we're headhunting. Like technically, yeah. Okay. I guess okay. So. It's either Aquila or maybe a run back of John. Who knows? Okay. All right. Now, just breaking it down to the micro of it. Like, what does a win like that mean to you? Besides just advancing in the tournament, besides just making the money, I know, does it, that specific win mean much? It's just cool that, like, just shows consistency. You know? Okay. Like, you don't fumble. Even when you're expected to win, it's like, sometimes you don't. So it's like, okay, cool. I didn't actually lose. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now, those expectations you set for yourself, like, how does that levy on you when it comes to a tournament, big or small? Yeah, I mean, it's like, I usually expect to win, like, regardless. Only times I lose is when it's, like, an unwinnable matchup. Like, you know, sometimes like you get a hard watch. bracket. Yeah, you fight a Gamma Watch, you fight a Duck Hunt, you fight, like, a Me Brawler. It's huh. like, bro, like, how, how do I even, like, handle anything, you know? I don't know. Yeah, no, I know. It takes a lot of skill. Now, in regards to skill, talking still on, like, the expectations you set for yourself, how do you look to, like, adjust those expectations? Like, you look at your bracket path, you see one of these characters that's got you shaking your head. Yeah, I What's mean, the trick? usually I just gaslight myself into thinking they're really bad and don't know how to play the game. Usually, sometimes it works out, like, I mean, you know, and sometimes it doesn't, and then I just blame the game because it's not really my fault. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Gaslight, gatekeep. Girl boss. boss, you heard it here. Oh, thank man. you very much. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of your sippy. We'll take that from you. Yeah. And thank you so much to everyone for joining us don't, tonight. Don't give these kids mics, microphones anymore. Hey, listen, you heard it here first. All the right. trick? Just lie to yourself. <laughs> uh, all right. But unfortunately, this is end of the road for us, Reggie. Yeah. We got to get ourselves back to Long Island. Yeah. And... I'm sure we'll be back for more. So, thank you everyone for watching along with us for Alpha 6. I'm Hangman. I'm Player 4. And this is good night. All right. Deuces.